India's well-known crime and legal thriller writer Vish Thamija is back with his latest book called Justice and I would say this book bears testimony to the fact that why is he called as India's John Grisham. He is back with this uh, a very interesting thriller I would say and the thriller is very interesting and a very different plot. So before you think it's just another legal courtroom drama wherein there would be some some murder or something which will be proven in, in, in the court whether the accused was guilty or not. Well let me tell you this is not exactly that. This is a book in which the judge is on trial. I repeat it's a book in which the judge is on trial accused of murdering a person in the Lodi Gardens of Delhi. So this is how the story begins. Uh, one of the well-known lawyers, one of the well-known defense lawyers uh, gets a call uh, and he realizes that there's something wrong. He flows back from London to Delhi on an immediate basis. And then that's how the story unfolded. This judge is uh, accused of uh, murdering a person in Delhi. The evidence is rock solid. There are many people who can, you know, uh, provide this testimony that they were there in the garden and they saw the uh, accused murdering and holding the, the weapon in her hand. So uh, this is how the story proceeds and in the first uh, 150, 160 pages are actually dedicated to you can say building the case or the lawyers building up the case getting ready for that trial. So this is how the first part of the story is spent and as you get to know several other aspects of the life of the judge also. Interestingly that the judge had a clandestine affair with the lawyer who was the lawyer Akash Ingorani is supposed to represent her but due to some legal issues here and there uh, they hire Akash's best friend uh, another defense advocate. However an important thing to notice that in the first part of the story in the first as I said 150 160 pages out of 260 or 270 pages in total you will see that you will actually don't get to know much about the person who got murdered. All we get to know is that some evidence that the, he was supposed to help the judge with the coming trial in which the judge was supposed to pronounce the verdict against a very well known corrupt politician. So this is what the basic information you get and the entire first part is built on that. So it leaves you, it keeps you guessing for more and more as to what exactly is the plot about. You may think that it's very obvious that it is because the person was supposed to help the judge and supposed to get the uh, politician, they're supposed to get the verdict against the politician. So it's most likely the politician who would have murdered. So, but was it or was it something else? Is the judge actually guilty or is the judge not? Well, we'll see as you move to the second part of the story, which is about the trial and the trial as, as is written in the story. I think that is in a very, very interesting and a very well written manner. I think that definitely proves that not as Vishnu Vijay and just John Grisham, but he is an expert in describing the courtroom scenes. And that is honestly the part I enjoyed the most. Not only it gives you a very live picture of what happens in, in the courtroom. But interestingly, this book also carries a lot of information about India's legal system. So for example, one of the things I got to know was that till the time a dead body is not identified, the person in Indian system is referred to as Ashok Kumar. Just to humanize and dignify uh, the person and it's a practice is followed globally. So the second part gives you a lot of insights about uh, the, the legal system, the way cases are, you know, the things happen in typically in a courtroom and later on we get to know the verdicts as to whether the person was guilty or not. Who exactly was behind all this? Was it the really the judge or was it something else? And if you think that what would likely be the the ending or what's likely the reason behind the murder and who actually is the murderer. Uh, let me tell you, uh, Vish Tamija has an uncanny ability to surprise you at the end. So I won't spill any beans for you because I want you to read and enjoy the novel. But yes, I repeat, Vish has this uncanny ability to surprise you at the very end. Most of all, what you think is is likely to be proven wrong at the end of the novel. So, so read this book. I thoroughly enjoyed reading this. It's a very well written book and I must say Vish is, is kind of becoming an expert in, in writing on, on legal stuff. I definitely enjoyed reading this. One thriller I definitely recommend. I'm anyway a fan of Vish the Media and I've reviewed some of his other books as well. And this is definitely a wonderful addition to Vish's works. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you think I did a good job, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you.